Hi everyone, welcome to another video tutorial on YouTube channel of tutorialspedia.com. This video tutorial on MuleSoft is part of a series of video tutorials which I'm uploading on the channel of Tutorialspedia covering different topics and aspects available in MuleSoft AnyPoint platform. This particular video tutorial is about data weave in MuleSoft which is an expression language and I will explain how we can perform different type of transformations from XML to another format of XML and from XML to JSON and how we can traverse uh, on a nested XML and how we can play with the data and perform different operations. Before I proceed, I'll request you to please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed before so that you are able to get all the videos from the channel when I upload. So here is a brief of what we are going to cover during this video tutorial. And uh, for this uh, use case, we will consider a nested XML document, which will have a root element and then it, it will have child elements. We will consider a users XML where we will have users and within that we will have multiple repeating user and each user will have uh, its own associated data. And then we will see how we can use the power of data weave expression language in MuleSoft and we can convert this XML to a JSON format. We will do different type of approaches. First, we will convert XML data into JSON without uh, changing any of the elements. That is uh, exactly same type of XML converted into its corresponding JSON. Then we will go ahead and we will see how we can convert from XML to another type of XML data where we will be doing some manipulations to the elements and we will see how uh, data we, uh, helps us to achieve this. And we will further go with this uh, XML to JSON transformation with a different structure. And we will also see how we can perform different type of ordering and sorting based on the elements in the XML. And lastly, we will see that uh, how we can apply certain filters on our data so that we can filter out certain type of data based on the provided conditions. These are the basic things uh, from the data weave. Data weave expression language is a very powerful language and it has a lot of options available and uh, different other features and different other uh, powers of this uh, data view expression language I will be covering in subsequent videos. So without further ado, let's directly jump into AnyPoint Studio and start uh, working on what we have discussed. Okay, so I have already opened AnyPoint Studio. Let me create a new project for uh, our use case. I will create a new project by right click new new project and let's name it as XML JSON transformation tutorial and we will just click on finish and we will see that project structure will get created under the package explorer in AnyPoint Studio. So let me show you the XML that we will be taking into consideration. So this is an XML uh, which we are going to consider for all the cases in our tutorial. This XML data is having users as the root element and within that it has multiple users. Each user has first name, last name and age. And uh, this is the XML that we will be traversing uh, in our tutorial uh, when uh, using uh, data weave in the transform activity. Okay, so the project has been created in our AnyPoint Studio. So let me, uh, since we are not going to consider end-to-end uh, -end flow and we are not going to create any event source rather we are directly going to uh, do the preview and uh, this AnyPoint Studio provides us option to preview the results of data view, data view expression so we will just rely on the preview. For that purpose I am just going to drag this uh, transform message into the message flow and I am I'm not specifying a source as we are not going to uh, run it in the uh, runtime. Okay. So now uh, I have added this transform message. This transform message component provides us options to play with the payload and do any type of transformations, any type of changes and customizations depending on the requirement. So in order to play with this, first thing that we need to do here in the input, you see payload and we need to define the metadata. So here we have defined metadata. So I will click on this and select metadata type. So here I will have to click on plus button to add and let's name it something. Uh, users type and I will click on this create type and here we have to specify what kind of uh, metadata it is since it's based on XML so I will choose XML 
And here, now you have to specify either a schema or an XML information or XML example. Based on that, it will be constructing the metadata. In our case, we already have an XML example. So we will choose this example. And now we will browse and select the XML. So I will go to my test folder where I have this XML and I will select this. As you can see, as soon as we selected this XML, uh, uh, this uh, uh, MuleSoft AnyPoint uh, Studio has created the uh, structure based on the XML information. So it has users object, within that it has user object, and within user it has first name, last name, and age. Age is a number, while first name and last name are strings. So we will just click uh, on select, and now we have defined the metadata so it will it's resolving the metadata as you can see and once it is resolved it will show here so now in the input it's showing us the metadata we will be playing with this uh, payload uh, in our data view expression language for that let me first uh, click on this source only option and click on this preview option so we, whatever changes we will do here in the source will be uh, shown here in the preview so the first thing that I want to do is to convert this XML to JSON without making any changes. So here in this case, I will simply uh, choose here payload. Payload dot. payload.users.user even if you don't specify this whole it will work you just specify payload and it's showing you the corresponding data so in this way we have converted the payload which was in xml format into the corresponding json format let me expand it a bit a little bit so that you see it in a better way so here you can see now that all the data which was in xml format is now shown in the json format with the first name last name and age okay this is basic transformation from xml to json without making any changes but in our real scenario we are going to do certain changes so let me first do the uh, first important thing where i will convert the source payload into another format of uh, xml uh, as you see that in our in our case we have first name and last name so let's do one thing that we will convert this source xml to and to into another format where we will have instead of first name and last name we will have full name so in the full name we will be concatenating first name and last name with a space in between for that purpose let's first change it to xml and now here we will have to do the required changes okay so let me add the root element with the name users data and here now i'm going to do the required changes so i will write user data and payload okay let me put the colon here i will write payload dot users dot user is repeating so i will write slash uh, static user so in this way i'm picking all the data as you can see in the right side it's automatically pre previewing the data but now in our case we want to uh, do the iteration on the entire pay payload and then perform the required customizations to create the full name so for that we will have to use this uh, map method here we will specify data comma index so data will be the actual data that will be coming in and index will be uh, the iterate iteration starting from zero so we will use the lambda function here and here inside this we will have to perform all the required changes so in this way we are going to iterate through the xml data and converting this uh, xml into another format of xml so here we have users data inside we have user data now here let's write new element with an name full name and here we will write data since we have the element uh, data in the in the, in the map with the name data so we will write data dot first name plus plus is the concatenation operator we will give space and we will write again plus plus and data dot last name so in this way as you can see on the right side preview is showing us full name and we will uh, write another element user age 
which will be data dot age okay so in this way now in our case we have converted the input payload xml into another format of xml where we have full name and we have age we can use another operator with the name let's give it a name position and here we will specify index so index starts from zero so this is actually uh, not needed just but just to show you that how indexing works here is showing index starting from zero and then we have one two three onwards we have only up to three because we have only four element uh, four users in our xml okay so in this way now we have converted our data from the input to uh, from the input xml to another type of xml with a different structure now let's perform certain other operations we want to order as you can see this user has age 33 this user has age 45 this one has 34 and this one has 19 so if we want to order it based on the user age we can do that we will write order by dollar dot age so now you can see that user age 19 is coming as the first user then 33 then 34 and then 45 so in this way we have uh, made sure that we, we we are ordering the data based on the element of our choice now let's do another thing if we want to filter and we want to show only those users having age greater than 20 so how we can do that we can use filter and here we will specify dollar dot user age greater than 20 so now when we did this you can see that we are only seeing those having age greater than 20 if we specify less than 20 we will see only one record yes we see only one record having age less than 20 which is sanaumar with the age 19 in this way we have converted our input xml into another format of xml where we have applied certain uh, operations we have uh, ordered it ordered the data and also we have applied the filter so if you want to convert it into json you can do the same uh, by just putting uh, in the output as application slash json and now showing you the whole data in the json format so this is how we do the operations uh, of transformation on the input data using the power of data weave and we get the required output of course uh, in the real scenarios you will have more complex cases and uh, there are a lot of other options a lot of functions and a lot of features available in data weave which i will be covering step by step in the subsequent videos so i hope that this information will be helpful for you from this video i say you bye bye for now and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and as i will be coming up with more advanced topics and more uh, videos on different topics and aspects of mulesoft uh, any point platform. Thank you very much.